Hey guys, welcome to this Rugby Bix video. Uh, this here is Jay, my wife. We're down here at the field slash basketball courts. Uh, the whole idea of this video is to give you guys a 10 minute session that you can get through, grab someone, a family member, brother, sister, a mate who's working on their skills. I know we're all sort of quarantined at the moment. So the timer starts in 10 seconds. Make sure you've got a rugby ball. We're going 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds off transition. So the first one we're starting with, two, one and we're into it, it's just clean catching, so nice soft knees. We're just trying to catch this ball absolutely beautiful. So whoever it comes in, we catch it clean and just give it back. Don't want to catch it, rearrange the hand and then pass, wherever it goes. So if you do get a sideways one, move those feet, get in behind the ball. This way when we get bad passes in games, we can deal with them. Keep it going, nice. Nice Jay, speed it up a little bit. Boom, good clean catch as you can see, whoever it comes in, it comes out. Jay's actually a basketballer, that's her sport. We both were basketballers growing up, so that's why her hands are pretty good. 10 more seconds, keep working. It's gonna be a pretty fast transition. Just gonna jump straight into it, 10 seconds off. Keep it going, good, stay low Jay. Good, two, one, 10 seconds off. Next one we're gonna go into is pistol drill, just come forward a little bit, stay there. Punching out, so ball starts in front, two, one, punching out, just with the same hand, we're going right hand. So the tendency with this is to go to the side of your body, I like right in front of that belly button, it means I've got to turn on my bicep, my shoulder's got to be engaged, this other hand just on the off hip, punch out, and end up with that nice follow through down. So again, if you're with a family member, and we get some ugly passes, that's no... No worries at all. Just keep punching it out. It's all about the reps. So I want you guys to get through this session as often as you can. You can be doing this 10 minute stint every day. You'll see a massive improvement if you get through this passing session. Good, we got eight more seconds, Jay. Punch nice and hard, don't be passive through here. Really get after it, last one. Good, 10 seconds off. Not bad, not bad. Lefty. Five seconds. So the grip is, if you can hold the ball like that, that's the grip we're looking for. So lefty, hammer away. Good, front of the body, Jay. Not out to the side. Yeah, there you go, nice. Big bicep, big shoulder on. The tendency with these is to get yourself all cramped up and high shoulders. Stay nice and relaxed. Good. Great ball, good pass. Nice. 20 more seconds. Keep that core on. That big strong bicep. Shoulders on nice and relaxed. Punch out. Keep it going. We got 10 more seconds. Let's get through two more each. One. Good. There and back. Good ball. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Next one, starting in front. So that same starting position, want to bring in this nice strong front thumb. So good strong power, starting both hands now, punching out, good strong follow through. Don't get lazy with this follow through, and we're actually alternating. So one on the right hand, one on the left. Right hand, good, left hand. Oh, that was too high, good. Just trying to keep this ball in the nice train tracks between my shoulders and Jay's shoulders. Punching through. Soft knees, we're not getting too stiff. Good, nice and high. Also, I don't want too much body bend, so stay real tall. Good, keep punching. Hands are finishing nice and high at the target. I quite like palms down as well. Just gets those shoulders relaxed, but also punching. Good, we got five seconds. Alternating. Good, next one, Jay's jumping into a V-sit. So feet off the ground, if it's too hard you can drop your feet. We're starting in five seconds. We're back to that clean catching. Two, one. Whoever it comes in, I can just walk around and give her a different. So the whole reason why I like this drill is because when we're running and playing in a game and we get a pass that isn't perfect, because we've got good core, good balance, and our upper body's detached, we can just deal with those poor passes. So as you can see here, Jay's just dealing with shit passes basically and then getting them back to me nicely. Good, keep going. Plus it's a nice little core workout. Good, keep going, good. Good, keep getting two hands to it. 
Good speed, nice. 16 seconds to go. Keep working, then it's my turn. Nice, keep it going, Joe. Good speed. Great hands. You can tell she's a basketballer. Five. Good, keep it on. Two, one, nice. 10 seconds, change it up. Hold on. Oh. Two, one, keep it going. Aaron Smith, Jay's actually got your top on, so thanks very much. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Keep it going. Good fit. Good. Make it hard for me. Hey! Two hands. Keep getting two hands to it, Pete. Nice. Good. Nice. Good nice. Good. So the tendency is to want to try and get one hand to it, but really work hard to get both hands. Nice clean catch on the ball. Good, keep working. How long we got? Five seconds. So, oh, good work, front hip, back hip. So we've got two hips, this is my front hip, this is my back hip if we're facing this way. So just starting side on, just front hip passing. Nice, good start. So all these drills we've done already is kind of priming us for this. Again, a lot of people start a little bit too low, so start down on their thigh. Try to get that momentum. We want to start nice and high, so that when we catch the ball up here from the inside, transfer straight across our body. Again, bringing that nice follow through. Good passing, Jake. Good. Good targets. Heaps of reps, team. So you're really going to feel yourself get better at this 10 minutes. Keep doing it. Good. Five seconds. Last one. Swap ends. Staying on that front hip. So not the back hip, just hip just yet. Five seconds, two, one, punch through. Nice, good, punch through. Front hip, Missy. <laughs> there you go, nice. So don't mind if you're getting a couple of ugly passes and the ugly balls. <laughs> Just wanna see the power and the technique looking good. We'll tidy the ball up eventually. If you are getting a bit ugly, try get nice and fat with your grip, so not to end on the ball. Nice and fat. There you go, great pass. Good, load up that energy, bicep, shoulder. Good, punch up. All right, let's go last 10 seconds really hard. Punch it hard. Great pass, there you go, she's on. Last two. 10 seconds off, swap back. So slightly wider, so you go a little bit wider, here's your last two minutes. So now instead of front hip, we're back hip. Just try not to over rotate, and we're on. Great pass, nice. So again, still wanna keep our technique nice and tight, back our upper body strength. This whole time, my feet just are nice and square. Great pass, Jake. Keep giving yourselves nice targets. Catch that ball nice and clean. Great ball. Couple more. Good. Last one. Passing, nice. Left side, back up. Last 50 seconds, let's make it quality. Two, one. Good, start well, good. Fat hands, bicep. Start with that ball nice and high. Pass. Good. So sometimes the tendency is to try to chase that 
pretty ball, but if we've, as long as we've got nice technique and everything's nice and tight, we'll eventually learn that how to get that nice ball flight. Good. Nice and fat grip. Give me some power. Good. Good pass. Two and one. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, so chuck on your AirPods or your Bluetooth uh, speakers, chuck them on, play this video. I want you guys to try get through this every day for sort of the next four weeks. Feel yourself, get better, improve, grab your family members, teammates, and get yourself better working through these passing drills. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Rugby Bricks video. Head to rugbybricks.com for more info on the passing and kicking development tools and also our full range of kicking tees made and designed in New Zealand.